Trevor helps out. Trevor, the traction engine, was feeling depressed. He couldn't breathe properly. Your boiler needs mending, said his owner, the vicar. But I can't afford it at present. One morning, the vicarage telephone rang. The vicar answered it and then hurried out to see Trevor. You may be a bit under the weather, but you can manage this, he said. The farmer has a tree down and wants you to saw it up for him. When Trevor had steam, they went to the farm and set to work in a field near the railway, trying to clear the fallen tree. Thomas passed by with Edward's coaches. He whistled cheerfully. Edward liked trucks and had been delighted to let Thomas have his coaches for a while. When Edward passed later that morning, he was pulling trucks with a sort of tent over them. These were specially for carrying china clay. The men called them hoods. Why hoods? Thomas had asked Bill and Ben. The hoods are those things like tents, explained Bill. They keep the clay dry, added Ben. Wet clay goes in tanks. But to Trevor, they were simply trucks. He was enjoying himself. The only thing he liked better than sawing logs was giving children rides. He chunted happily as the pile of logs beside him grew. Edward returned with some empty trucks. As he passed the place where Trevor was working, the line seemed to wobble under him. That feels like a loose rail, he thought. We'd better tell the maintenance people. At the harbour, Edward exchanged the empty trucks for full ones and set off for the junction again. Trevor dozed. The wind had dropped and it was comfortable in the autumn sunshine. It seemed no time at all before he heard Edward coming back. Trevor whistled a cheerful greeting. He was watching Edward and so did not see one of the trucks, six from the end, sink, jump and shudder just at the place Edward had felt a weakness in the line that morning. Sparks flew, a truck wheel jammed and with a crack a coupling broke. The last six trucks and the guard's van lurched, bumped and stopped. The guard, safe in his van, blew his whistle. Edward, far in front, didn't hear it and hurried on without realising what had happened. But Trevor was closer to the guard's van than Edward. He heard the whistle and looked back to see the trucks lying at strange angles on the track. Peep, 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 he whistled in horror. Stop, Edward, stop. Edward heard that. It's Trevor, he cried anxiously. What's wrong? We'd better stop and see, said his driver. The fireman climbed onto the tender. Phew, he exclaimed. Look, it's not Trevor, it's us. The guard went to protect the train, the fireman went to the farmhouse to telephone for help, and the breakdown gang soon cleared the line. That evening, the fat controller came to see Trevor. Thank you, Trevor, he said. I've heard about your boiler, and because you saved a nasty situation, you're to go to my works to be mended. Would you like that? Oh, sir, said Trevor, thank you. That would be lovely.